My name is Matthew Klinsky. Today I'm gonna to talk about something that a lot of entrepreneurs really struggle with, and I hope that this helps bring some light if you're one of those people that are really struggling with it too. The most common transition that entrepreneurs have to go through is how do I remove myself from the business or how do I replace myself as I continue to grow? And a word, a phrase that I've learned from some of my colleagues at Entrepreneur Organization is what is your highest and best use? So this is what I'm going to talk about today, which is highest and best use of time. Uh, but really, it's just highest and best use. And really what that means is, as an entrepreneur, you have to learn how to do payroll, accounts receivable, uh, recruiting, as if you're a staffing firm owner. But you also have other things like marketing, you have to pay the bills, you have to balance the, the checkbook, if you will. And so when you start off as a one-person operation, as a service company, you can balance all these things. You have to. You learn it on YouTube or Google it, and you really become a jack of all trades. But as you continue to grow, in order to be successful in this new growth, you have to fire yourself, and you have to learn what is your highest and best use. And highest and best use really can be anything uh, within the business. If you started a staffing firm, but you actually love uh, marketing, you can hire for business development, hire for recruiting, and focus on marketing. If you love business development, then you should hire for recruiting. Uh, and so you get my point is that when you have to start a business, you have to wear 15 hats. As you hire your first person, you have to start taking off those hats and firing yourself and hiring somebody else. And that is a challenge that a lot of entrepreneurs go through. Some of the entrepreneurs in our program, the Authorized Dealer Program, realize that they've struggled to run the payroll, uh, manage the funding relationships, manage the workers' comp, which is why they come into a program like our Authorized Dealer Program. Their highest and best use is typically business development and recruiting, and they love focusing on that. Now, if there's two partners, I will tell you the secret. If there's two partners in an authorized dealer like ours, uh, like our, our authorized dealers, typically one of the partners is gonna be really good at recruiting and the other partner is really good at business development and they should each embrace that because that's highest and best use for each person in the organization. Every time you hire somebody, you should think about, is this your best, highest, highest and best use? And am I removing something from my plate? One thing I've seen often is that an entrepreneur tries to remove themselves from something that they're doing the highest and best use of their time. And the challenge becomes is that they, and they critique that person doing it, they're second guessing themselves, they're constantly digging into that person to say, hey, you should do it better, you should do it better. And when you talk with them, they say, but I, I, sh I could do sales so much better. Then do it. Fire that person, whatever you're doing, fire yourself and hire you to be the business development because that's what you obviously love to do. Highest and best use will have many benefits, but more importantly, it'll create a positive culture in your business. It'll maximize your profit and it will reduce your stress. If that's not enough, the people, in order to get through phase one, phase two, phase three of growing a business, you have to be thinking about highest and best use. Otherwise, the whole business is going to fall like a, a, like a bunch of cards standing on its end. Uh, so positive atmosphere is really key. And when you bring in new people, you want to, again, constantly remove those hats from yourself so you can maximize and elevate yourself in the business. I hope this helps. And I, uh, feel free to connect with me and subscribe to our YouTube channels and follow us online. i uh, love to talk to you more about the program. Our Authorized Dealer program is designed for recruitment firms and staffing firms throughout the country. And if you're interested in learning more, please contact us and we can talk further. Have a great day.